Now I'm going to do one of my most favorite fish dish of my restaurant. That's a kalamata crusted salmon with pom puree, that's your mashed potato, and ratatouille. So I'm going to explain the ingredients of ratatouille first. We have 50 to 60 grams of assorted vegetables. They would be our zucchini, yellow and red bell pepper, onion, tomatoes, and eggplant. 10 to 15 grams of white onion chopped, 5 to 10 grams of garlic, 2 tablespoons of tomato sauce and fresh herbs and obviously we need oil to cook so I have extra virgin olive oil the first thing that we do is we heat the pan and put in oil we can put very less oil in this because the vegetable that I use here the mixed vegetables is already sauteed and kept just to save my time I put in the onion first this would be around 5 to 10 grams you can even go a bit more with the onion and some garlic, chopped garlic. When we, after sweating it, we put in the other ingredients, that's your vegetables, which has already, already been pre-cooked. We give it a nice stir, and at this particular point of time, we season it with some salt. Now we are gonna put in the tomato sauce. So we put, it shouldn't be that very saucy, it must just, Fold in the vegetables, that's enough and sufficient. Now just to give them some nice flavor, I'll put in fresh herbs. Here I use basil and parsley. As you can still see the vibrant color of the vegetables, they are just perfect now. My ratatouille is ready to be served. The next component of my salmon dish is pom puree. So I'm going to just show you the ingredient that I'm, I use in this. Dices of potato, around 200 grams. 150 grams or ml of water. 150 ml of milk. And 40 to 50 grams of soft butter. We take the potato first. We put it in a pot, followed by some water. And milk. We don't use the butter now. If you want, you can season it with salt, but very little, not much and just check the flame, it's not much. The reason being, we don't boil potatoes, we always simmer it. This helps to enhance the nutrients of the potato. So this, as because this quantity is less, it'll take around 25 to 30 minutes on a very, very low flame. After this, what we do is, when it is nice and soft, we pass it through a strainer or a moili. My potato puree is ready. After making the potato puree, we have to finish it and give it the right consistency, taste and texture. So what we do first is, we take the potato, the mashed potato, in a pan. So we can put our milk now. After we have put the milk and the vegetable stock, we have to finish the dish with butter and check the seasoning. After the main course accompaniments, the mashed potato and the ratatouille, now comes the most favorite part of mine, that is cooking the salmon. Here we have used a filet of a Norwegian salmon, which is around 180 to 190 grams. But if you're not fond of salmon, you can use any other fresh fish. That can be your grouper, sea bass, sea bream, or any fresh catch of the day. The pan has to be hot. If not, the skin will get stuck to the pan. So we put sufficient amount of oil, we take the fish and we dry the skin. Drier the skin, crispier the skin. And the skin side goes down first. We just hold the fish for a while, apply a bit of pressure so that the skin gets a proper crust with proper color all around. You season the fish in the beginning, little bit of salt and crushed pepper. Now I'll just flip the salmon over, see the skin, it is nice, golden brown and crispy. We flip it over once again and apply the crust which we just made. 